The menopause is actually surprisingly complex to diagnose. The definition of the menopause is not having had a period for 12 months, so that bit's relatively straightforward. But the perimenopause and the transition is a bit more complicated, and it's really looking at your bleeding pattern and your symptoms, and also taking into consideration your age as well. Blood tests really aren't that helpful in diagnosing that transition. We developed our questionnaire at My Menopause Centre to try and help answer that very question, where you'd input a number of different factors and then receive an outcome um, to give an indication as to whether you could be in the menopause transition, depending on age, whether you're taking hormones, um, your periods and the symptoms that you're experiencing. You don't need a blood test to diagnose the menopause. We take into account a, no a number of different factors such as bleeding and symptoms and age. A blood test can actually be quite helpful at ruling out other causes to your symptoms, but it's not useful for diagnosing the menopause. A blood test can be useful for diagnosing the menopause if you are younger. So a blood test is actually essential for diagnosing the menopause if you're under 40. So that just needs to be taken into consideration. I know that you can buy many blood tests that promise that they're going to be helpful in diagnosing the menopause, but in reality, they're not that helpful because particularly in the transition, in the perimenopause, those blood tests can change day to day. So really it's looking at your symptoms, your bleeding pattern, and if there's any worries or any doubt, then have a chat with your doctor. Blood tests are recommended if there's any suspicion that you're going through the menopause at a younger age, particularly under the age of 40. Blood tests may be helpful if you're between the age of 40 to 45. Um, blood tests can be helpful at ruling out other causes of your symptoms, and a blood test can actually be helpful in working out when to stop using contraception if you're not bleeding as a result of that method of contraception. So for example, you're on the mini pill or using a Mirena coil for contraception.